All right, giving all praises, honors, and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Makakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great most on that terminus truth that will well. Shalom to the elect scattered through the four corners of the earth. My name is Kudash Paya. And as you can see, this is not a very, very new video of the uh, East African, you know, over in Kenya, the president. I think it's Kudo, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, uh, Rudo. Uh, speaking about the national IDs that they had, the pilot tests, um, and would continue late 2023, early 2024, and now we in late 2024. Not only that is digital IDs. Already? Right, and I'm going to play it, but it's an implementation, all right, and hey, let's, 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 <laughs> Let's play. Um, the digital ID, which has been a big problem to us for a very long time, is now on a testing mode for the next two months. That's how they testing it over Australia, Switzerland, Sweden, Africa, um, these different European countries, um, Elon Musk, you know, uh, with these different tech companies, you know, on paraplegics, blind people, people that, you know, just testing it all around. And, you know, right before the, these banks fully collapse, they want to make sure that this digital device um, is 100% uh, accurate for the people. That's why he's speaking about over in Kenya, you don't have to use plastic or paper, right? Let's get it. I have been assured by all the stakeholders, led by the ministries concerned, that by December, we will be able to launch digital ID where every Kenyan don't have to carry any paper plastic or otherwise as an ID that they should be able to be identified digitally using their iris or their fingerprints and we can transact without the necessity of people struggling to identify who they are. They doing that now in, in, in airport in airports, uh NFL stadiums, um you know, the brother Michael Allen did a lesson near one of the stadiums in Philadelphia and they had a truck speaking about nanotechnology, you know, and that's, these are the phases, all right? These are the phases. And um, the most, the proudest part of it is that we don't have to spend the billions that we have spent on all the other uh, manenos, as uh, all of you know. Then, you know, you even have in a news stations, Misha number, you know, because it's all tied into Kill Gates. Um, and they even show you that, in, you know, a snippet of, of like how in a movie where they had the United Nations troops over there in, in, in Africa, whatnot, but um, this brother from GMS uh, Watchmen, I forget his name, from the main camp in New York, you know, he just did a, he had the article up about, I believe in Switzerland, all right, how they're making it, these, these chips, like it says, it's smaller than Neuralink. All right, and listen, that's 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 why you know from the apostles on down, you know, as the scriptures say, you know about the MOTB, the mark of the beast in Revelation thirteen sixteen. This has to come to the forefront, fully implemented, mandatory before World War Three could pop off and all how fully. Um, 
breaking loose? Why do you think you have all these cyber attacks or whatever, and then these different uh, big franchise companies investing in these different tech technologies? Because they understand what's coming later on. You know, after these phases. As a matter of fact. I might get it in the Bible Hub as well. Just for further edification. This is the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11. It says, Let Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. You know. So 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Let's get that over here. In the Bible hub. Sometimes these apps. Must you know. Malfunction. While I do these lessons. So please bear with me. <laughs> you know. This shit makes me just want to buy a new phone. But see, that's how they come in a, in, a, in, in, a, in the name of convenience. Apps mess up. Your, your, your people getting hacked in their bank accounts. People, uh, you know. So now. Oh, man. You see what I mean, bro. Right. Well, anyway, it, it tells you, I believe in the NLT. Second Corinthians two. Wait, what? Second Second Corinthians. Go to the NLT. All right, I just went to uh, Google and Googled it. You know. Fucking piece of shit apps. Second Corinthians chapter two verse eleven it says, "So that Satan will not outsmart us." Right. That's why I believe in Sirach and the Apocrypha, also known as Ecclesiasticus. I believe five and fifteen tells you be not ignorant of anything small or great. So we gotta watch for these things, understand the development process of it. You know. When you understand the development of technology and machines and from the Industrial Revolution till now, to the fourth Industrial Revolution, right? To the point where they having things get smaller and smaller and soon they want it in you. See? Anyway, so... So that Satan will not outsmart us, for we are not... For Salaki, for we are familiar... With his evil, evil schemes. Alright. Now let's get that word real quick. Scheme, right? Uh, uh, figure of speech. You know how they say you're scheming. Really. When you go down, it says the meaning, plan of action, devised to attain some end. Damn. It says, um, overtones, selfishness, deviousness began to creep into the world after that time. The meaning complex, uh, uh, I mean, that hits it straight on the head. Plan of action, devised to attain some end. And that's going to be the end, man. Because if you take that. You know, there's no repentance from that. And this is why they're going to shut the food supply down. They're going to shut the medical. They're going to shut down middle class businesses. They're going to shut down. They're going to shut this whole shit down real soon. And, you know. People's backs is going to get to the wall. That's going to cause a domino, a chain 
uh, chain reaction or domino effect with society being broken down from the inside out. Civil unrest, people going crazy, people getting sick, plagues escalating, martial law. So, and the point for them, for all this real quick, we can go to Isaiah 10. And in verse 1 it says, Woe to them that, devi uh, that decree unrighteous decrees, right? These wicked policies that they're bringing out, you know? They can easily just order uh, uh, executive order and, and, and have you arrested for literally nothing. But it says, and that right grievousness, which they have prescribed, right? Which they're going to usher in to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor. Of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. You know? So it's all for full control. Not for your benefit. Oh, you could lose your card. Come on. Really? It says, and what will ye do in the day of visitation and in the, des in the desolation which shall come from far? To whom will ye flee for help? And where will ye leave your glory? Right? So if you take... If, 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 if you take Esau's wedding ring, so to speak, right, now they, that's the idol. That's part of idol worship as well. You we saw during the time of Babylon, I believe it was Nebuchadnezzar, three holy children, they didn't bow down to the, to, the, to the idol, you know. But a lot of our people did during the time of the Maccabean period with uh, Seleucid's Empire, King Antiochus, you know, people was getting killed if they didn't, you know, follow the king, the rule, uh, the rules of the king, the king of, of that land. And just like now, fear tactics or whatnot, put you in FEMA camps, you know. But these phases, these pilot testers, trial runs, right, if people haven't been noticing, Happens with everything overseas first. Problem, reaction, solution. The whole, you know, Hegelian dialectic, you know, order out of chaos with their new world order. And that's why chaos is ramping up, you know. I do want to get this in the NLT. Isaiah 10 and 1. Oh, we just put Isaiah 10. Um, it just gives a, a different, you know, for form of edification, it gives you a different, uh, I wouldn't say perspective, if you will, but they break it down differently. You know, cause some people can't understand. Look at this. Now Google is acting up. This technology is a piece of shit, bro. I'm telling you. Isaiah 10. Let me press pause. So this is uh, Isaiah 10 and 1 and 9. Let's see. What sorrow awaits the unjust judges and those who issue unfair laws? They deprive the poor of justice and deny the rights of the needy among my people. And this is why we say the Constitution wasn't created for us, who they call the minorities, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which are the biblical Israelites we was brought over here for captivity, not to have fucking freedom. If you don't work, you don't eat, can't pay rent, you go homeless, and they, like, I mean, come on. You get a ticket, you get locked in, in, a, in, a, in a cage for something you didn't even do or for something minor. They give you a hundred years. How is that free? Any which, however, they deprive the poor of justice and deny the rights of the needy among the peop among my people. And, yo, with that shit, they, that's all your rights being taken away because that's for full control. 
You see, they prey on widows. They take advantage of orphans. What will you do when I punish you? When I send disaster among you from a distance, distant land. So, people in Babylon the Great in World War Three, his they're gonna send missiles upon this place and, and annihilate it. People are gonna die from the second death that take that. See here, pursuing a uh, Revelation fourteen and nine. I'm um. So yeah, I just wanted to bring this out real quick. Um, and the brother has the scripture in Revelation chapter 19 verse 20 where it says, With which he deceived them that have received the mark of the beast. So people are going to be, are being deceived, you know, by this new technology. Oh, it's a fab. People are so happy. Hip to this technological way of living, right? You know, because you pay your rent online, you pay your bills online. You know, I tried to give my my landlord cash. I believe like three years ago. It's like, nah, you gotta do it online only. You don't accept cash. <laughs> you know, so. How you going how you gonna have an apartment? How you gonna do things? You see? That's why the scriptures speak about how we're gonna be even as pilgrims on that day, talking about the remnant, the elect that's not gonna receive this. I'm talking about those that you know believe in the true name and the true doctrine. Not just your average Catholic. That'd be like, oh, I'm not taking it. That don't mean you're going to make it. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom.